Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Fake OS ICS Training Institute and PG Institute, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. And in this video, I will be speaking about the sterilization. So, how a surgeon can track the sterilization process? Uh, so, as a surgeon, when I enter the oper operating room, so there are a few things which uh, we must notice. These are very important things uh, so that our surgeries are safe for our patients. So first thing I have written is the OT validation. You can see this is the last date when it was validated and this is the due date. So the moment I walk in, I should know that uh, whether the OT has been validated. See this validation is mainly for the air handling units which uh, we put with the HEPA filters. So for that this is very important because if even if you have the best air handling unit with HEPA filter, if it is not properly validated and not properly maintained, it is as risky. The last one was taken on this date and you can see the due date is within uh, a month. So the moment this due date is passed and I can see that the last date has not been changed, I know that it has not been done. So this is another important thing and the biological indicators which are must for each sterilization equipment. So every autoclave, every ETO machine or plasma sterilizer that you have, you must uh, check these biological indicators every week. So every week the biological indicators must pass. If they have failed, you, you should stop using that particular equipment and make sure you get it repaired so that it is safer for our patients. Uh, this is another chart you can see. These are, this is a chart of indicators. So this part shows before the procedure, what was the color of the indicator and what, how it is after the procedure. Because we are using uh, different types of indicators and the batches may change afterwards. So every assistant and every surgeon should know when the ETO indicator or the uh, autoclave indicator, with whether it is successfully passed the process or not. You have to also watch for the date or batch number return on these indicators. These, these uh, return dates will tell you whether it has been used just once or if sometimes it is by mistake used again, then we may have falsely processed uh, surgical material uh, where the, the processed indicator was not removed from the initial cycle. So this avoids that mistake. After seeing and confirming that the OT that you are operating in and uh, sterilization equipment like autoclave and ETO are already validated with the validation, the uh, swaps and the biological indicators. Now we are going to start the surgery. So as the surgeon enters the operation theatre, how can he track whether all the sterilization procedures which were done outside in a sterilization department whether they have been complete or not was it effective or was there some breach in the sterilization procedure so we'll see about that so uh, we can get either the equipments which are already pre-sterilized that is they come with the disposable pack such as we have cassettes and uh, there are a few instruments or equipment or devices that we re-sterilize in our facility so first start off with how we are going to put up all this in our FECO machine. So uh, this is already a cassette which comes in the pre-sterilized format. So the assistant just has to open it and uh, give it to the OT assistant, my surgical assistant, who is going to assemble it on the machine. So uh, before we put the irrigation bottle in, okay, we have to examine the irrigation bottle, look for any particulate matter against the light, okay, and uh, then you have to attach it to the FECO machine. So uh, for the touch screen, we are going to use the screen covers which we have ETO sterilized for. Uh, this is a ETO sterilized plastic. So we are going to see the indicator over the plastic before applying it over the screen. The next step will be to attach the FECO probe and the tubing to the uh, FECO machine. Now because FECO probe we are going to reuse, it has been already sterilized and this time we have used uh, ETO sterilization process but we can also use the B class autoclave. Now if you see the pack, there are there is one indicator which is seen here. This is a class 1 indicator. So class 1 indicator just tells you that this is the processed uh, FECO probe. But it will not tell you whether the process has been effective or not. 
and for that we have another indicator class 5 indicator which is inside the box now this is a ETO pouch and we have double packed it just to be more cautious about any physical damage to this plastic cover which is there of course before we open it we generally physically inspect it to look for any damage so if the outer cover is damaged anytime you have to discard it and re-sterilize it so we'll just show you how it is opened and then given to the assistant and the assistant will then watch for the class 5 indicator inside only when it is showing that the sterilization has been effective that FACO probe will be used for the surgery. So even for each instrument set which we are going to sterilize there will be a class 1 indicator on the outside so that we know that the this surgical load is processed and second there will be a class 5 indicator inside each and every instrument set that we are going to use for different patients. So this is to ensure that each and every instrument set which has gone into the for the ETO sterilization has passed the entire process so which is very important. Apart from that even the things which we may not be actually using intraocularly they might be extraocular such as maybe the scissors for cutting the drapes or maybe putting a iPad. You can see that we have applied class 1 indicator as well as we have used the class 1 indicator of the Tyvek pouches. This is to ensure that each of these instruments are also processed and we do not use any unprocessed uh, material by mistake. Few things which are often missed. One of the important tip for autoclave use is always use class B autoclave which has multiple pre-vacuum cycles for hollow instruments and BD test every day in the first cycle is must because that indicates that the equipment is functioning properly. Another important test which is overlooked is the PCD helix test where a tube is placed with the indicator at the one end so it has to be placed along with any tube which you want to ETO or autoclave so that only if this test has passed you have to use that tube. So these are the important steps in tracking the sterilization and for the safe OR. The first is the OT validation, OT swabs, biological indicators, then check the irrigation solution and other packs physically. Always use class 1 indicator on the outside of the pack and class 5 indicator inside of the pack so that you know that the complete effective process of sterilization has been done on that particular instrument. For more such videos do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.